Now, do note inside my rants, I don't ever get mad. And just to be noted, these rants started inside of my Zen123 account. But this is the first one on this account, I believe. No, wait, no, it's not. The unexpected Windows Vista shutdowns are. And by the way, they're not unexpected. The computer overheats. That's just typical. I mean, Microsoft sucks. But anyways, it's time to get to the main point. Things that really annoy me. This yawning is annoying and it's really stupid. I was doing a previous rant and I realized I got really angry over Fred. Fred. So he's my first target. Fred is a stupid guy. He's stupid. Stupid. This is stupid. He's a guy and he speeds up his voice. So he sounds like... Yeah, that, that's basically what it sounds like. Not counting the stupid Nihal Kalan reference at the end. Okay. <laughs> but the main point is, is that he basically speeds himself up. He does stupid stuff and he has a stupid love. Get out of the way, cute little girl. But the main point is, he's stupid. I'll probably come back to him after a few other serious matters. Another stupid yawn. Hmm, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, everyone hates these people. If you have ever been on YouTube, you know stupid people. And there are three letters that mark the enemy. W-M-G. Yes, W-M-G. Warner Music Group. They're stupid. They're stupid because they remove unauthorized loosely used term right there. Content, <laughs> they remove it, and they don't let you hear anything into the video. But you can audio, audio swap, but that doesn't do anything. The audio doesn't be, well the audio just gets replaced with some stupid song, and most of the time the song sounds like, <laughs> Wait, let me start up my little Yamaha friend over here. Yeah, it, it sounds like some stupid girl with her voice fading in and out every second. Not you, you little cute girl. <laughs> but it's just stupid because they replace it with a stupid song or a good one, but they don't let you keep your audio, as in your voice. Because, for example, this audio file you're hearing right now of me ranting about stupid WMG. It's stupid yawning. <laughs> it's just stupid. Because... Since it's attached to the video, if they somehow remove this, you would hear... Yeah, you basically wouldn't hear anything. And it's really lame, since they remove everything, and if your video has some important notices in it, they remove it. And the worst part is whenever it replaces it with, my good old friend the annoying girl was. Yeah. 
Oh look, we have a screensaver! Not anymore. We have serious business. And we said so basically, it's stupid. Stupid how they remove everything. I don't know why I'm not feeling the same anger I did. But really, stupid. Well, this third one, many people might disagree with. Now you see, coming up right here, it's going to be a series of images that I took of random Nick Jr. shows with stupid stupidness. I really do hate it. Deep inside, I wonder why they do this. In fact, I'm going to bring up a picture on screen right now, even though you guys can't see it. But let me tell you, it's ugly. It is ugly. The picture, if you're curious, it can be found on the Umizoomi page. It shows Team Umizoomi flying in their helicopter wearing seatbelts. Yeah, this really, really doesn't sound serious. You might think, oh, well, that's okay. I don't know if people even wear seatbelts in a helicopter. But, it gets bad. Many shows go way further than this, like wearing life jackets and stuff. And I know that Dora, Dora the Explorer, she has some responsibleness to this. And I will explain. You see, the pictures on screen show off all kinds of stupid stuff. You, but you guys are probably thinking, but Zane, it's just Wubsy wearing a helmet. Oh, it's just people wearing life jackets. Yeah, but is it a coincidence that every show is doing it? You think that someone would screw up. Now, one interesting moment was Boots wears a life jacket, he falls out of the boat, and it uh, floats him to the nearest bank. Well, that's a good thing, really. It shows off some usefulness. But I don't see Dora doing that. Yeah, big Hispanic stupid person. I mean, Dora stupid. You know, her typicalness. I guess with that, we can transfer to the next subject. Stupid people on Nick Jr. Because no one rants about this. It's like they're scared to rant about these guys. The first one, Dora the Explorer. She's stupid. She She's cute. But she doesn't know what's behind her. And sometimes she'll question you about, like, do you see, like, the big hen or the big red hill? Whatever you call it. Or do you see mountain or something? Oh, well, it's right behind you, Dora. In fact, it's always behind you. And you're an explorer and you can't locate your own landmarks. It's stupid. And she constantly refers to the map's three words of advice every time she completes a location. And magically the Fiesta Trio plays their same little melody and leave. But they're good. They're good. They're, they're good compared to Dora. Dora Marquez. Next, it's now time to talk about our little friend that keeps popping in. Kylan. Now, what does she have that's weird? She wears a stupid life jacket. She wears a stupid seatbelt. She wears a stupid helmet. All the stupid stuff she wears. And meanwhile, we keep introducing the stupid stuff. But she's doing it. She even switches her life jacket. Yeah, that's right. For example, guys, here is a picture of her with Yeah Yeah. Notice she's wearing a life jacket. But it's yellow. Now on this picture on the other hand. She's standing in front of her cute little dinosaur boat. Based off her little doll. And it's. And she's wearing a green life jacket. What? Okay. Dora always wears this big poofy orange life jacket. Which really is quite fat for her. But the catch is. That really doesn't make sense. She always wears the same one. 
kind of weird and kind of gross to talk about. But Kylan switches it out while everyone else usually wears the same thing. Like, Wubsy usually wears the same helmet. Oh, come on. This is insane. It shouldn't happen, Nick Jr. I mean, teaching safety is one thing. But not explaining anything but buckle up. That is not enough to tell children their safety. Well, thankfully the SWFs, the online games, they don't take the safety into account. By that I mean, the game does, well the games don't show them wearing life jackets and stuff. Why don't they do it for the SWFs too to put some consistency into their brand? Instead, all they do is they just simply, they make them not even learn about safety anymore. So it's like it's just there to trick the minds of these little children. I said little children, stupid. But anyways. It makes me angry inside every time I see them wear these stupid things. It's really not needed, really. So, what have we basically learned so far? Well, from what I can remember... Yawning is useless. Nick Jr. should get a life and not wear stupid life jackets. And third, WMG sucks and shouldn't remove audio and replace it with... <laughs> or some other stupid related song that involves a girl fading her voice at it out. Stupid. But I mostly hate the Nick Jr. stupid subliminal messaging. I wish I could cuss, guys. If I could cuss, I would say... F you! Well, I bet someone's gonna kill me for doing this, but I'm gonna do the middle finger to them. It'll show my anger. It's about time I do it, guys. If I can't cuss, I can surely do the middle finger. Just to show you, Nick Jr. This is gonna be hard, but it's gonna happen. Uh, in your face, Nick Jr. F off! This is Inco Productions, and I'm gonna make a rant on Soldier Boy's Pretty Boy Swag! Now, why am I making a rant on this? Well, because it's stupid. Stupid song. And you think you put bad songs on 98.3 and stuff. But strangely on YouTube, on like, I don't know what it's called, like T4TV Rant? There's a rant that's on Soldier Boy. And then on another one, it's Soldier Boy. And it's Soldier Boy, but it's a pretty boy swag. And, and the name, I'm serious on the name. That is literally what it's called. And we so so stupid. At the beginning, he's like, eh, eh, eh. Uh, uh, so he sounds like throughout the whole song. He's like, swagging, swagging in the club. Something stupid. And he's saying, pretty, we swag. Ah, pretty, we swag. Ah. Emphasis on the, ah. They say it way too often. It's stupid. Because he acts like this throughout the whole song. And none of his other songs are like this. But here it sounds like he's about to die. He's, he's stupid. Stupid song. Stupid song. Very stupid. Just making sure that my camera's really, you know. Uh, just very hard to try using these little webcam with this. Point though, if I can remember correctly, stupid. Have our friends the I Home nearby to show you. See people putting the song on YouTube without getting caught. So if I get caught, expect another account closing. 
because I must be in perfect condition for Zancorp production. Now I have the eye home, and now I just gotta get the eye. I got it just so I could play it back. It's fun. I love it back. There it is. Pretty boy swag. Once you do, you'll understand stupid. Shut up! Shut up, soldier boy! You, you, you're really getting stupid! What is a swag? Why are you calling yourself pretty? Learn some songs that- Oh, it looks so... X-E-X- S-E-X-Y That word is perverted, so I won't say it. Oh, dude! You think that you're that pretty? You are! You're not at all! No! And also... <laughs> he basically- Keeps saying he's pretty, he's a boy. He can't be a boy. He can't be pretty. And swag. I don't know what swag is, so I don't know. And swagging. My iPod just reset, so I can't show you anything else. Like, no, no, he, no, no, he. That's what it is, man. No, he. Well, mainly, pretty boy swag is, well, it's a bunch of horse trash. Like many things. And I am yet to explain them all. They're stupid. Stupidness. This is a good production. And today I'll be doing a rant basically inspired by a rant on YouTube. And basically, it involves two different subjects. And I gotta admit, one of them really annoys me. And I still have to agree with the people on YouTube, you know, their beliefs on this. First, let's start with the less important one, the Alvin and the Chipmunks thing. I don't really know much about them, but I do know about their music. Imagine if you were listening to a song, someone came by and turned the vocals track up really high like Fred. Fred's stupid if you don't know. He's a stupid, he's a stupid idiot. But anyways, the main point is, he's a stupid idiot. But guess what else happens? This happens. It's like... <laughs> and the uh, audio is all sped up, but the background beat is normal. And it's stupid. Stupid. But now it's time to explain it's really stupid. Kids Bob. Why? Why are they stupid? Well, for one point... You could just listen to the actual songs. I mean, sure. I mean, the only reason you would ever want to hear children singing it is to play it backwards. In fact, I'm going to do that. But, ever since I first heard it, I hate it. Because, at one point, why do you want children to sing your song? You can just have the actual artist. Well... Apparently, what really gets most people on YouTube is the fact that that they're trying to copy the Beatles. 
what? Why are you trying to copy a rock band? I don't think you guys can even get any close to a rock band. Because you sound like a bunch of children, and I notice you sound the same inside every song. And I do have to agree with one video on YouTube, where an example is Wake Me Up When September Ends. Sad song, but unless you don't see the video, it really doesn't matter. As the children are clearly seen jumping around all excitedly. As the video says in my own little random quote. He says, yeah, I'd feel happy if my grandfather died or something. Really, that's sarcasm. You probably wouldn't feel like jumping around and sing. But Kids Bob clearly likes to be an evil like that. But of course. Really? It's just the main point. Speeding up music isn't good. And neither. Really. Thank you.